Hello everyone, uh, I'm coming on here with my hair out, uh, I've just washed it and I've just treated it, so get used to this right now whilst I have it out because then it's going back under the, goes going back under the silk turban, you know it's not long enough to comb yet, but it's growing so yeah, well, I hope it looks alright, I hope it looks alright, but yeah. I just wanted to come online and talk, really. Uh, I have people to talk to, but it's not an easy thing to talk about gang stalking or the day-to-day -day effects it has on you. So that's one of the reasons I come on camera. It's really just to relate, you know. But I'm not really on here to talk about anything in particular. So if you feel free to skip this video if you want just wanted to talk about getting older you know whilst I was combing my hair I'm noticing that I'm getting a little bit of salt up here I'm getting a few greys and like even just thinking about it even just thinking about it the things that would scare most people going bald going grey these things for some reason they excite me I can't explain why it excites me because like my my illness and the torture that i go through with the gang stalking it has me thinking you know you know how my suicidal ideations used to crop up and they cropped up like all the way up until very recently like a few months ago but the thought of getting grays the thought of getting older i find it exciting I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. The thought of getting greys, it excites me. And I think the reason it does is because I've been miserable for so long. I didn't think I'd reach the age that I am now. I didn't think I'd even get here. There are a lot of things I didn't think I'd be able to do and I'm able to do them so it's probably because I always associate getting older with my freedom and I always associate with my youth with bondage with BPD having so much sway over my emotions it allowed people to lean on them in order to sabotage and manipulate me. I associate being younger with abuse. I associate being younger with all kinds of pressure on top of the abuse, like peer pressure on top of the abuse. You know, but me moving to Brighton and me finding a new life for myself, all that happened when I was older. So every time I see a wrinkle or I see a grey hair or you know, my body gets a little bit softer because, you know, muscle loss and everything. Every time I see that, I just see, I, all I see is, is freedom. All I see is like a happier life. That's all I see. All I see when I get older, these fucking flies coming in from outside. All I see when I get older is freedom and happiness and you know, the ability to start over every day. That's all I see. I don't see what other people see when they get older. I see, I see, I see the chance to be able to live my life my way. That's what I see when I get older. When I see, you know, all the things that I'm supposed to hate, like my weight and my wrinkles, or when I find lines anywhere, I don't have wrinkles yet. Well, you know, like my weight and my fine lines and my hair and the fact that it's graying or, you know, that time when I was bored, like I'm supposed to look at all these things and think to myself, oh my God, my life is over. Oh my God. Because I know people from the past would look at me right now and think, oh, what happened to her? But, you know, all the best moments of my life, it happened when I was this way. So every time I look in the mirror, that's what I'm going to see. I'm going to see my own liberation. I'm going to see me becoming myself when my hair gets grayer, 
and my skin gets more crinkled, I'm just going to see me becoming more like myself and I'm going to see me become more of the person that I actually like to be around. The older I get, the more that's what I'm going to see. Sometimes what you expect to make you feel good is not what makes you feel good. Do you understand what I mean? It's one of those things where, you know, your age, there are certain things that just free you. Sometimes rejection is your protection. It's just absolutely freeing. And even now as a torture victim, as a victim of trafficking, like you couldn't pay me to go back to the old days, even, even though I have more mobility, even though I clearly didn't have arthritis like I probably do now, because I've heard a lot of cracking going on over here, you know. You couldn't pay me to go back. You could not pay me to go back. I have learned so much and I've become such a richer person for everything that I've learned. You couldn't pay me to go back, man. And every time I see a grey hair or a wrinkle or something like that, I see movement towards, like, the freshness of the future. I see movement towards the future. That's what I see when I see Asian. And it's just, thinking about that, it's just, it's, it's very, very hopeful. You know, my body's breaking down. You know, I heard a crack in my arm yesterday. Like in the same arm, my mum used to have it. And, you know, my arm's a bit weird now. I can move it still, but it's a bit more difficult. But, yeah, like age is just, age for somebody like me is freedom. You know, when you have less electricity stimulating your brain, you know, you do struggle a little bit more with the, cognitive cognitive thought and spelling and memory and stuff like that you do struggle a lot more with that but the bpd is lessened because of it and the even the post-traumatic stress disorder is lessened because of your age like there are certain things that your age diminishes sometimes along with the good stuff it takes away the bad stuff too because there's not enough there's not as much electricity running through your brain and your nervous system. So along with the bad things, along with the good things, it takes away some of the bad things too. That's the thing about age. Age doesn't just take away uh, the best of you sometimes. Sometimes age actually takes away the worst of you. Some of your worst traits, sometimes age actually removes that. That's one of the reasons why I'm actually grateful to get older. It's just... It's just the thought that I had. And, you know, yeah. I'm actually excited for the grey hairs. Like, I like, I want my hair to go grey now. I'm sick of this salt shit. Like, there's just, it's just a little couple of grains of salt. It's annoying. Like, I want to have, like, proper greys. Like, I want to look in the mirror and see fucking greys. Like, maybe, like, like a grey streak right here. Like, I want to see some fucking grey. I'm sick of this. I want to see some grey. <laughs> I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I want to see some greys, man. Like, I don't want to dye them either. I don't want to dye them. I don't want to dye my hair grey just to see some grey. I want, I, want I want my hair to go grey now, now, now. Nah, come on, man. Foolishness. You know what I mean? I can't wait. I can't wait to get that age where it starts graying, like, for real. If I ever reach that age, it would be such a blessing to me if I reach that age where, like, I have a forehead of grey hair. That would be awesome. Do you know what I mean? That would be fucking amazing. I would love that. You know? But, yeah. Yeah, I get excited by the weirdest thing. <laughs> I get excited by the weirdest things. It's just, oh, it's odd, man. But yeah. No, I can't wait to have a couple of greys, man. I'd love to have a couple of greys here and there. Yeah. 
I was aged 21 years old. I didn't even think I would reach this age at 17 years later. I did not think I would get here. With everything that I've been through and everything that I've fought through and everything that I've everything that I've endured. I didn't think I would get here at all. You know, so whilst my illness can sometimes have me thinking things that aren't true about whether or not I want to live, the truth of the matter is, is that getting older is something I look forward to because I'm always going to associate it with being the real me and not being held hostage to my illness or even the gang stalking. I'm always going to associate my age with that, with my freedom. Even as I'm being gang stalked, because of my age, it's like I have more mastery over myself and therefore I have more mastery over the situation. It's just, um, yeah, getting older is a blessing. I'm telling you that right now and especially when you ain't got no family. <laughs> If you're a woman, if you're a woman and you don't have no family and you don't have no kids and you don't have no husband, right? People do not understand the freedom. People do, people just don't understand the freedom. Like, don't get me wrong. I have wanted kids. I have wanted kids and I have wanted a husband. But why? Why did I want that? Is it to build a legacy? Who says I need a relative to do that? There are people who pass their legacies off to worthier people, not in the family line. Happens all the time. And even and even then, like, what have I left behind worthy of a legacy? All I have are ideas. And I can easily pass ideas down to worthy people that are not from my womb. I don't need to have children to have a legacy. So that's out. And what do I need a husband for? Because in my position as a targeted individual, the only husband or wife that I would be able to have would be a handler. And even if they're not a handler, love is a liability. I'm on benefits. And when it comes to my tarot readings, I'm not exactly balling. So like what... What would marriage contribute to my life at this point? Nothing. And as for my kids, if I had any, if I raise my children right, if I was, if I were to raise my children correctly, ain't no way would they be fucking spending the youth of their lives looking after me. Not if I've raised them right. Not if I've raised them correctly. Okay. Not if I raised them correctly. Ain't no fucking way. So what would a, a, a husband or children really have to contribute to an older you know, to an older woman who's single? What like what would what would that I, I don't need children to have a legacy. I don't need a, a long term partner. To have a satisfying life. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I never needed any of that. You see this this is the gift of getting older. I never needed any of that. I never even wanted any of that. And it's it's wonderful to kind of come across that realisation. You know. The only thing that I wish is that. I didn't come to this realisation through grand through gang stalking i wish that i had come to this realization on my own i wish i had more of you know more freedom to make my own mistakes and find out for myself what i wanted but at the same time it took a lot of penance and it took a lot of heartache to make me realize who i actually was so i don't know maybe there's a blessing in it somewhere
You know what I mean? Maybe there's a blessing in it somewhere. You know, because I still know who I am without the illness. And the most powerful realization that I've come to is realizing that the gang's talking the gang's talking couldn't take that away from me. They couldn't take that away from me. All I ever wanted to was to know who I was without BPD, without you know, without the trauma, without this, without that, and I have a clear idea of who I actually am without that. And the get there was nothing that the gang stalker could do to prevent that. They couldn't take that from me. They failed. It failed. Hmm. Hmm. Just eat some yoga. Yeah, I'm eating yoga in bed. What of it? <laughs> Fuck off. Do what I want. Yeah. But I realized the one thing that I really wanted was to know who I was without BPD getting in the way. And I actually know. I actually know. And that's the one thing that gang stalking can't or couldn't take away from me. I know who I am. And it feels really good to know who I am in spite of all the horrible things that I've gone through and continue to go through, you know? It is a beautiful feeling. And it's a shame that not all TIs get to experience that. It's a shame that so many TIs go through so much hell. And all I can do is just be sad. Just be sad and be like, oh, and then get over my life. Like literally, literally, people are being unalived through this program. And the sad part is, this is where I get sad. I see all these beautiful people being unalived by this, this program. You know. And all I can do is make videos. Have video diaries. And just talk. And maybe in the hopes that somebody who is being gang stalked will feel less alone. That's what makes me upset. You know, it's one thing to, it's one thing to, to somebody like me to be mocked every day. At a certain point, you start to realise when people try to undercut your value. At a certain point, you start to realise it's bullshit. What they're saying is bullshit and it's not real. But then there are certain TIs who never escape. Whether it's through suicide or through being brutalized to death. There are some TIs who just can't break free. And I, I really, I hate that. I hate it for them. You know? This program will murder me too. Maybe not now. Definitely not now. I don't I don't see it happening anytime soon, but this program has already murdered me. It's murdered me already. It's just a matter of uh waiting a few decades for the death to come around. But yeah, they've already murdered me. But at least they've murdered me. And you know, for whatever amount of time I had the opportunity to get to know myself and have a relationship with myself. And that's something that a lot of people don't have the privilege to do. Whether they're TIs or whether they're not. You know, 
Having a relationship with yourself is the most important thing you will ever do in your life. It's the most important thing you will ever do. Some people have bloodlines for generations and never get that opportunity. It is so important. Especially for a woman. Hmm. I don't know. I'm having these really interesting ideas lately. Also, I'm dissociating again. Actually, no, I'm not dissociating. I think that's the wrong word to use in this case. But my imagination's kicking up. I feel like now is a good time to channel it into something. I don't want to talk too much about it, but yeah, maybe it's a good time now. You know. You know. The only thing I miss about my youth, mobility. Like I said, my arm is, oh, that's really hot. Hang on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got arthritis here. Because this feels really hot, so. Yeah. That's the one thing that sucks about getting older. You could, you could fucking be doing nothing and pull a muscle. It's, I don't, <laughs> and it's not even, I don't even think that's age. I think that's a combination of radiation, being irradiated every day. And the trauma of being gang stalked. Because all these things over time causes nutritional deficiency. So that's one thing I do miss about being younger, like having the health and strength to do shit. But whilst I still have life in me, you can still live life, right? It doesn't have to be a tragedy. Oh, shit. Doesn't have to be a tragedy. Hmm. I'm just making something in the oven. I'm just preheating, preheating the oven at the moment. So I can make myself some uh, some supper. I'm eating this yogurt. I haven't eaten all day. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me get the yoga out. Hmm. Is there anything else I need to talk about? I've been thinking a lot about, you know, my past and everything and how that relates to now and you know sometimes I wonder if I didn't go through what I go through would I know what I know probably not try and get the last of this yoga out Oh. But yeah, it's just a low-key Saturday, just having fun. Not having fun, I can't call it having fun, but I'm definitely chilling out a little bit. Get used to this hair out, because it's going to go back under the silk turban, like I said, because it's not long enough to preserve in a in a plait yet. And, you know, I'm not trying to get the fucking hair to protect my head. I'm not trying to get hair for braids and shit. You know how expensive hair is now? Fuck. I'm not trying to do that. Oh. It's fucking expensive. It's just ridiculous. I'm like, I want to be able to protect this, this growing crown of hair. But it's not long enough to preserve yet. 
So this is what I have to keep doing. I have to keep combing it. And then putting it in the fucking salt turban. Speaking of which, let me get it on now. Um, hold on. Fuck's sake. Hold on one second. No, put... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can get it on with one hand. It's more difficult than I thought, actually. Let's see. Hang on. Fuck, man. Fuck. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shit. Okay. 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 Got it. I had to cheat just a bit. <laughs> Got it on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I had to cheat just a little bit. Just get it on there. Oh. So it's on. It's on. Hang on. So, anyway, you guys, I want to say peace and blessings to you. If you've made it this far into, like, a non-video, essentially. I haven't made a video about anything. I've just been talking. Um, if you've made it this far into whatever this was, uh, my fellow TIs, let me know how you guys are doing. We will talk soon, all right? I just have to get some food in me and... I'm sure I'm sure when the gang stalkers do something less predictable that we'll have more to talk about but at this moment like nothing's really been happening yet it's just just routine spying and stuff or at least I'm sure that's what's going on I'm sure it's just been routine spying and, and whatever um but nothing really like big today because I've just been lying I've just been lying in just been sleeping in and just been like watching videos all day so yeah just one of those days where I haven't done a fucking thing and I'm not mad at it you know I can have days like that it's great <laughs> can I have days like that you know and for anybody who's saying must be nice yeah it is it is it really, it really is it really fucking is but yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, my fellow TIs, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. I always want to hear from you. Um, but when something less predictable with gang stalking happens, I will definitely let you know. Because you know how these guys like to throw curveballs. So I'm sure they'll throw another one and I can get on with talking about it. But in the meantime, it's just same old, same old. So nothing to report. Um... I do get the electronic attacks as usual, um, but if I'm getting them right now, they're very low key. They're not very exaggerated at all. Um, like the targeting is in its quiet phase at the moment. Um, you know, with the abuse cycles, there are always quiet phases. And right now my abuse cycle is in its quiet phase. Um, so there's nothing really to write home about. Again, when something, a curveball is thrown, then we can have another conversation. But in the meantime, peace and blessings. I love you guys so much. And take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.